One really handy way to do formative assessments using Schoology. Um, once your grade books are kind of set up, if you need help with that, let me know. But I like using these um, test quiz features. So in your course, that's under materials. Uh, you can set it up to be whatever you want it to be. Uh, and then if you want to do due dates, never really mess around with that. But if you want to assign however many points. And then, like I said, you would need to have your grade book set up, at least on Schoology, maybe some categories set up. Or I suppose you could just do it ungraded and just get a score to put into, if you're still using uh, Infinite Campus, you could do it that way. But I have like a tests category or quizzes category. And then you uh, choose what scale you want. And if you need help setting that up as well, that would be a story for another day. But um, some of these other options, you want to make sure it's visible to students. And I always enable comments so that I could give them feedback as well. So I'll click Create. And from here, um, you can basically create as many uh, questions as you want and assign however many points to those questions that you would like. Uh, so first of all, in the settings, I'll show you this tab. Um, I think by default, the availability says hide now. So if you make one and then have the kids the next day be like, okay, we're all going to go take this quiz, they'll be like, oh, where is it? I can't see it. It won't show up until you click available now. Or if you only want it available, like specific dates, you can get more fancy with that. But I usually just open it wide open so that they can take it. Uh, time. The rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Time limit if you want to let them take it more than once. Randomize order of the questions. Um, what else is important in here? Resumable, I always click yes in case like Schoology crashed or something in the middle of their assignment so they could get back into it. And this one, the view submissions, I like to do uh, this. You can kind of see over on the right here. It says allow students to view the results of their quiz. You, if you want to keep it private and just you see that, that's fine. But I usually say yes with the correct answers, meaning they get to see what they got wrong and what they got right. So I always make sure to change those settings before I forget. And then I go back and start actually creating my quiz. And this part's pretty self-explanatory. It's over in the questions tab here. And when you're ready, you just add a question. It's got true or false, multiple choice, ordering, short answer, essay, fill in the blank, matching. Um, so choose whatever you, know, you want to do. Say it's a multiple choice question. And I'm not sure if it's still this way, but I did like uh, reading classes. I would be tempted to maybe import those weekly reading assessments out here because then Schoology grades it for you and it could save you a lot of time. So you could just type in the, the question here and they have some you know formatting options. You can insert images from the um, internet or do whatever you need to do to make it look pretty. And then you get your um, choices here and then you choose the correct answer maybe you have multiple correct answers and you can always add wow 15 multiple choices apparently four seems good so um, let's see you can randomize what order they show up in so kids aren't peeking on each other's screens partial credit if you want I suppose and if you want to time it and then you have to select how much you want this question to be worth it'll create the question then you're ready to create your next question, and that's how you build a test. When you're ready to like preview it, if you want to take a look, you can click on preview. This is what the kids will see. It'll say begin test or quiz for them. And off they go on their screen. And then over in this results tab, when you see um, students start taking it, it will fill up their scores over here. So you can either import that into Infinite Campus if you so choose or just leave it out here on Schoology so it does all the grading for you. If you want to add comments back to them that's this last tab so you could um, put anything back that you would want to do. Uh, if you have more questions on creating a test or